Hey everyone, today we're going to make a very simple steam engine out of a soda can that's been unopened. And now the can is just barely over five. I guess barely under five inches. And my two exacto box knot or cases are pretty close to halfway dead center. Well, I don't know about dead center, but halfway through the center. So to give me a guide on where I want to put my holes at, I got a safety pin and I'm going to just scratch the paint all the way around. And that'll give me a nice guide. And you see that's the one I just made. And it goes all the way around. Okay, now I'm measuring where the longest point is across the can, the longest diameter. And I want it to go down the middle of that tab to help keep it balanced. But I'm getting it to land right about two inches across. I've got two dots. Okay, now I got a square. And I want to pretty roughly line up that dot on each side. Now, where that line is at, I scratch down it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's an X in the paint now. We do this side for our second port. See it right there. And now that's where we're going to place our holes at to drain. Alright, to keep from making a mess, I'm going to put a plate down, get a jar, and right on my X, I want to put just a very tiny hole. Alright, we got one hole. And then I also want to do my other hole, which is right there. And now I can blow through it. Oh, I also, I put my finger over the second hole and shook it just a little bit. All right, now the can is empty. And if there's any condensation, wipe it off. If you want a dry can. Well, I just made a mistake. I accidentally put one hole on my top line and one hole on my bottom line. I should have only made one line, but what I'm going to do is I want to put dual port in it and I'll have two tiny holes on both of them. And we'll see if that works. If not, I'll remake it. Okay, now take your needle, and if you put one hole or two holes, you want to stick it in, and then you want to 
bend it down so that the port instead of blowing straight out now it's blowing at an angle and you want to get all your angles pretty close to the same see you can see all my holes have been bent just a little bit so now they're blowing out this way which will make it spin actually I guess it would spin this way okay now I'm going to use a small piece of string just a little bit longer than the can is 